other than your business if you get any other income we call it as your allowed item general expense include 5000 spent on promoting family planning part of the business underwriters commission or underwriting commission yes how much you are supposed to take 80% disallowed A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Adasa here, lecturing with us from First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are discussing your topic, Session Three and Unit Four of your Tax Management. Under this, we are discussing your assessment of company. In the previous session, we also found out what is the business income, what is your company's income. At the end, we also calculated what is the total income of all the five heads. Similarly, today we'll do two more problems under assessment of companies. Now, your agenda is very simple. We are working problems. First one, problem number four. We done with three problems. Now we are into problem number four. In this, from the following information submitted, find out the total income of Well Wisher Company Limited. So we are supposed to find out the total income of Well Wisher Company. Still now we are not calculating tax liability. I'll show you how to calculate tax liability in the next class. Right now we are working on your computation of assessment of companies. Now, opening stock 63,000, Cain purchased 770, salary and wages, general expenses, interest on loan, wealth tax, provision for debtors, office expenses, net profit as well as your total. On the credit side we have sale of sugar, rent of agricultural land, LTCG, long term capital gain, bank interest received. Now do we have any adjustment? We'll see. Office expenses include donation to political party, donation to NDF. These are the information. Now what we are supposed to do? We have to take net profit. We have to take what? Net profit. Add disallowed item minus allowed item. You will get your business income or income from your company. Hope you got it. Yes. Now, net profit already given in the question paper. It is 4 lakh. Now, what about rest of the things? Very simple. Now, which are disallowed item? I already gave you list. Which are those? Like, remember, any reserves, any provisions, donations, depreciation. If there is an adjustment, if it is not an adjustment, we will not take depreciation. Again, I'll repeat, any reserve, like general reserve or taxation reserve, any reserves, any provisions, provision for doubtful debts, provision for taxation, all the provisions will come. Hope you are clear. Yes, any reserves, any provisions, depreciation if you have adjustment, along with that, any taxes. Taxes in the sense, we are not supposed to take VAT, excise duty, GST. These are the things we are not supposed to take. What kind of tax you are supposed to consider? I'll write down so that it will be easy for you. Remember, this allowed item. What are the disallowed item? Now, first one, any provisions. Second one, any reserves. Third one, depreciation if you have adjustment, or else don't take. Then, any personal expenses, tax, tax in the sense of like income tax, wealth tax, then municipal tax, then we have personal expense over, depreciation over, donations. So these are the major things and fine and penalty. Remember, which are those provisions, reserves, depreciation, if it is adjustment, any personal expenses, tax like income tax, wealth tax and municipal tax. And if there is any donations, 
Fine are penalties. These are called as disallowed item. Where do you get debit side of PNL? You get all this information, debit side of your PNL. I'll go back to this. See, opening stock, part of your business, yes. Can purchased part, salary and wages part, general expenses, in general expenses, it is a part of your business. Any adjustment? No. Then interest on loan, part of your business. Wealth tax, you are supposed to take. Then provision for bad debts, you are supposed to take. Office expenses, we are supposed to take, not full value. Office expense include 1000 for donation, 2000 for donation, two plus one, only take 3000 in office expenses. Irrespective of amount in office expenses, we need how much? Only 3000. Now, so out of this, consider 3000. Out of this, you consider only 3000. That will be considered as what? Office expenses. Now, we are done with this? Yes. Now, Office expenses are completed. One, two, three. These three are, we are considered as disallowed item. Now, which are allowed item like other income items come to credit side? Like anything like long-term, short-term capital gain, agriculture income, interest, lottery, your house rent, all comes under allowed. You are supposed to minus. Sale of sugar, part of the business. Rent of agriculture land, yes. LTCG, yes. Bank interest, yes. One, two, three. Other than your business, if you get any other income, we call it as your allowed item or other head income. These three we are supposed to what? Minus. These three we are supposed to add. That's it. I'll go to the answer. Net profit as per P&L, 4 lakh we have taken. It is already given in the question paper. Then, after that, disallowed item, wealth tax, provision for bad debts, office expenses. Wealth tax, provision for bad debts, office expenses. Now, so total it will be 88,000. 4 lakh plus 88, it is 4 lakh 88,000. Hope you are clear. Good. Now, once you're done with your 4 lakh 88,000, you're supposed to go with allowable expenses and other source of income. In this, rent of agriculture land, LTCG, bank interest received. Now, so all are your other source income. So what is the total? 5 lakh plus 50 plus 7, 5 lakh 57. We got 5 lakh 57. 4 lakh 88 is your for income minus 5 lakh 57. Your business income or business loss? It is a loss. Loss of 69,000. Hope you are clear. Yes, this is all about your calculation. Now we will find out total income. Your total income is very simple. Income from salary, nil. House property not given in the question, nil. Business income, it is not income, loss. Capital gain, 5 lakh. And your bank interest and agriculture, you will get it in the credit side. 7,000, agriculture is exempt, 4 lakh 38. Minus 2 donations are there, so 4 lakh 35 is your total income. Hope you are clear. We have not calculated your taxable income. We are calculated only your what? Total income. Now, now we will go for the next problem, easiest one. Even you can also solve this. Now, following particulars are furnished by Golden Star Company Limited. Profit and loss account for the year ended 31st March 2019. In this, we have particular, your all the expenditures are there, all the incomes are there. Now, we are only supposed to tell me what are disallowed items. Which are disallowed items? Simple one. Salary, advertiser. Salary is a part of your expenses. I'll go to adjustment first. General expense include 5,000 spent on promoting family planning, part of the business. Stock quarters are let out for interest of business, business purpose. 
allowable depreciation we have adjustment on depreciation so that we have to consider depreciation now salary will not come advertisement will not come rbd reserve remember the points these are the points reserves are disallowed remember these points so in this reserves rbd will come depreciation yes it will come then because we have adjustment what as i told you what is a part of the business income tax it will come well tax it will come fines and penalty it will come then underwriters commission or underwriting commission yes how much you are supposed to take 80% disallowed remember underwriting commission 80% disallowed in the list i'll give you you are supposed to take 80% 80% we are supposed to consider as disallowed item now so 80% you can excise duty part of the business bad debts part staff welfare expense part donation take general expenditure part donation to political party yes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 there are total eight items comes under disallowed hope you got it good now allowable other than your business related if you get any other income we call it as other head like gross profit no bad debts recovered i'll come back to this refund i'll come back to this ltcg interest on bank deposit discount is a part dividend 1 2 3 total we have three items i'll go to the answer now see total as i told you eight items 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 which are those rbd depreciation income tax wealth tax fine penalty underwriting commission only 80% donation to prime minister drought relief fund and donation to political party now i got this money disallowed item 1 lakh 40 what is your net profit we have to start our problem with net profit 1 lakh 35 plus 1 lakh 40 we get 2 lakh 75 then from 2 lakh 75 remember your ltcg we have taken interest on bank deposit we have taken dividend from foreign company we have taken now this depreciation is in adjustment if you get depreciation in the adjustment whatever given in the table add whatever given in the adjustment minus i'll show you depreciation given in the table add disallowed depreciation given in the adjustment minus allowed hope you got it remember if there is no adjustment on depreciation we will not touch depreciation only hope you are clear if there is no depreciation in the adjustment we don't touch depreciation only good now so after that depreciation over and the only thing is refund of income tax that we are supposed to take and come back to your question now see your rent from staff quarters it is for business purpose bad debts recovered allowed earlier year see already it is allowed why should you allowed again not required if it is disallowed earlier year you are supposed to minus remember this if the word disallowed earlier year then you are supposed to consider now as a minus if it is allowed already again no need to allow that particular expenses refund it is not part of your business you are supposed to consider now so we done with this you got total of 144000 now so income from salary nil house property nil business income just now you calculated 144 and long term is 40 interest 26 dividend 20 uh, total income is 230000 minus there are donation is there and two donations are there 5 plus 16 your answer is 2 lakh 9000 easiest one two problems now only work out and complete your topic so next another three sessions are there on your 
assessment of companies that is more than sufficient for the exam purpose. So I'll go back to all the slides. So these are the tax calculation. If you want, you can work out RS. From the next problem, we'll go with the tax calculation. Just make a note of this, but next problem we'll go for actual calculation of tax. Okay. Remember, long-term capital gain we have to separate. Those things and all I'll explain you in the next class. In today's class, just remember how to find out your business income and how to find out your total income. That much only sufficient for your exam purpose. Now, so this is your agenda. So this is your problem four, problem four, solution, your solution part, your problem number five, solution part, question, question, solution part, solution part, solution part. These are the tax calculation, we'll do it in the next class. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood how to calculate the assessment of company. The tax computation I'll teach you in the next class. Thank you.